In this tutorial, we are going to find and select or format rows based on a search criteria. So for example, if we are searching for all the koalas in the sheet tab, we want to be able to select them like this. I'm sure there's others using our Google Apps Script code. To play along, you can grab the sheet in a link in the description below. Pause now, grab that link, get it open and ready to go, and then come back to this tutorial and we'll get started. After you've selected extensions and gone into the App Script IDE, we're just going to delete out this original code here. And let's just add in a comment just so we know the function that we're building. It will select the row that contains the first found value that we're searching for. And it's just going to be based on a single sheet. Now you can have a look at the other tutorials in this series on how to select uh, specific ranges or the entire workbook. But for now, we'll just focus on the single sheet and it's easy to adapt from there. So we have two parameters here and we're going to set up this function so we can reuse it in other processes. So we need a string as our first parameter. That will be our search text and we'll call this the text find. Now, if you've been following along in this series, you'll notice that this is very similar to the previous functions we've built already. Okay, our next parameter is going to be a string again, and that's just gonna be the sheet name. Cool, the target sheet. Okay, so it's not going to return anything, it's just going to action something for us. So let's create our function now, and that's going to be called the select first row with value. So select the first row with a value. So essentially all this script is going to do is look through this range and find the first row. Let's say if that first row is Koala, then it's going to select row three because it's the first occurrence uh, that appears in this range. Let's grab our sheet that we're working on. So const ss for spreadsheet, then grab the spreadsheet app class, and then get active spreadsheet here. And then let's grab our sheet as well. So const sheet, and we're going to reference the sheet name. So we need to grab the spreadsheet and get sheet by name. There we go. And inside that name is going to be that first parameter. Oh, I didn't put the parameters in. So let's do that. Text and sheet name. There we go. And we want this sheet name here. So we'll just double click control V to paste. Awesome. All right, so again, we're going to use our text finder that we've been working on for this series. So let's grab our text finder and create a function behind that. And that will be sheet create text finder, the second one here. And what do we want to search for? Well, it's going to be the text from our parameter up top here, this one here. Nice. Once that text is found, we need to do something with it. We're going to grab the cell that this text is found in. So Koala, it's going to grab this cell here, this A3, and all the data within that cell. So const again for a variable that doesn't change. Cell equals text finder. And what do we want? We want find next. And that will grab the first item in the search list. And if we want the following one, we can use find next again to find the following one. Okay, so now we need to grab the row from that cell. So here we can go const row, and that's going to be equal to cell dot. And now, now that we've grabbed the cell, we've got all the range methods that we can grab within the cell. And one of those is going to be get row. And this will give us the row number that we need. Last thing we need to do here is grab sheet. So we're going to grab the sheet here and apply two methods to it. The first one is going to be the get range method, and that'll allow us to grab the entire row range. So this one here that goes all the way across to Z at the moment, or Z for my American friends. So get range, and let's just make it easy. We'll put it in A1 notation. So A1 notation is, for example, A3, that's A1 notations, D7, okay? And uh, if we do a range, we separate it by a colon. So let's use back ticks here. And we'll go A, and then we'll insert a variable, which is going to be our row number. So row. And then we can keep the end open just by adding in the row here. 
cool. Okay, so now that we've got the, the row, we can just activate it here. And then we're done. We'll hit save. And then we need to be able to run this function. So let's build our run these functions very quickly. And that's just a catch all function. You could use any other function to run this select first row with value function. Uh, run these is our go to example. Let's go const text. That's going to be equal to our famous Koala. Then we also want the sheet name. And that's going to be equal to this animals here. A very excited animal name. Cool. And whack that in there. Awesome. Let's run our function. We'll just cheat and select it. And hit save. And then go to our run and just select runsies at the top here and hit run. Now you may have to go through authentication, but you can see that Koala has been selected. So if you missed it, I'm going to hit run again, look over onto the spreadsheet here and watch it be this first item be selected. So we'll hit run and you can see that first item is selected. Cool. So of course, if you've been following along in the previous tutorials, you could also grab the last one in using this approach. So let's just make a copy of it with shift, alt and down and just hide this first one for you. And we can use, instead of find next, we can use find previous. And this will start from the bottom and work our way up to the top. So it's going to find this first koala, which should be here. Okay, let's hit save. And run. And there we go, it's selected. Nice. So we've got the first and last selected. We only need to make some minor modifications to select all in this way as well. So we'll keep our runsies as is. And we will unhide that and display that just for your reference. And let's just make a copy of this function here and paste it below. And let's rename it to select all rows with val. Everything else is the same here. And we need to say select all rows that contain, oh, te, the first, let's say, select all rows that contain the found text. And we'll just fix this. Okay, cool. So how are we going to build this one out? So these two arguments, we still need the spreadsheet and we still need the sheet. We still need to grab the text finder here, but we need all occurrences of our koala in our list here. So let's just change this variable to all occurrences. And instead of using text finder find next, we're going to use the find all method. We don't need this find previous. Let's get rid of that. Now let's just go ahead and remove all these and we can do something a bit more sneaky here. Here we're going to go and create a variable called ranges and that's going to be equal to all occurrences and that all occurrences has returned back an array. We can map this array and just return each one of the range items here in our A1 notation. So let's do that and we'll say dot map and inside our map, we're going to create a arrow function. So with an argument of item for each iterator. So on each item we find, little arrow function here, and we want to return back the A1 notation of the row we want to select. So that's going to be this A. And we're going to start with A, and then we're going to put in our variable, and that's going to be the item on each iteration, get row. And then we'll put it in our colon here. We're going to input our variable, item, get row again. And that should grab each time. It's going to grab this range. It'll grab this range, this range, grab this range, whatever other range that Koala exists in. Once we have all the ranges in our all occurrence range array, we can use the sheet get range list method 
here we can provide an array of A1 notations, which is what we generated in our ranges. So all we need to do here is add ranges, or oh, ranges, ranges, work better. And from those ranges, we can just say activate. Hit save. Okay, so let's just grab this new function here, put it down at the bottom in our runsies function, and we'll go ahead and comment out the previous function and we'll hit save. I'll just click off here on our on our spreadsheet and let's go ahead and hit run. And you can see in our sheet anywhere that Koala exists in the sheet, so Koala, 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 Koala and Koala, those rows have been activated. So we could apply something to all those rows. So if I click back over into the sheet tab here, if I hit control B, that's going to bold all those rows. Let's uh, undo that though, control Z. Okay, so from here, we can also run some formatting on those rows instead of just activating them. So let's provide a quick example on how to do that. So I'm not gonna select this last function that we made here and copy it and paste it. And instead of select here, we're gonna say format. And we'll say format again. And we don't have to make many changes here. So after our get range list down the bottom here, this is the only change we have to make. So instead of activate, we can just add in a bunch of formatting rules. So let's just uh, put this in a new line and tab it over. And here, let's say set background. Well, we'll set this background to, uh, let's say hash 0B5394. Uh, and then we'll set the font color to white. And we'll set the font weight. Font, font, weight to bold. And we'll hit save. Let's go down to our runsies now. And we won't do this on this animal selection here. We'll use it on our animals format. So let's just create a new variable called sheet name one. And that's going to be equal to this new sheet tab, which is this one here, or easier to find this one here. Cool. And let's just comment out our previous function and head back up and grab this format one so we can see the glorious format that we've just generated. And control V, paste that in, change this to sheet name one to match this one. And we are good to go. Let's hit uh, save and we'll go ahead and hit run from runsies. And there you have it. So each row that contains koala in it has now been formatted to this blue background with a bold white text in it all the way across the range. Of course, you can modify the range to get last, uh, last data range so that it would end at F here. I'll leave that in your hands to experiment and play with. In our next tutorial, we are going to modify this script again to hide and unhide selected rows based on our search value. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, please subscribe and smash that notification bell. Until next time.